from massive success on the field to growing fame off of it. Showbiz Tonight can tell you a phenomenon is taking over Hollywood's A-list. More elite athletes are turning their sports stardom into showbiz gold. Here are Kelly Ripa and Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan's done it. It's great to be here hosting Saturday Night Live. Eli and Peyton Manning are doing it too. Hines and Kim, Donald and Peter. And shows like Dancing with the Stars are proving sports stars can take the lead from Hollywood's hot shots. Just ask last season's winner, Green Bay Packer, Donald Driver. I feel the same way when I won the Vince Lombardi Trophy. You have a tremendous amount of interest in athletes because you're seeing more and more athletes morph into personalities. Brand strategist Marvette Brito tells Showbiz Tonight that these days, athletes have expanded beyond just endorsement deals and movie cameos. Well, no longer is the athlete looking to endorse a product. Now the athlete wants to have ownership in products. It's much easier to do during your career. So you're seeing a lot of players really leverage their platforms while they're playing the game. I started doing it because it was fun. Strahan is one former football stud who's leveraged his platform. The ex-New York Giant played 15 seasons in the NFL before retiring in 2007. Thank you, thank you very much. Since then, he's landed a commentary gig on Fox NFL Sunday, dabbled in comedy in the sitcom Brothers, and is a frequent co-host on Live with Kelly. There's this good marriage between athletes and entertainers, and why is that such a... Because we all want to be each other. (laughs) I wish I could sing and dance and be an entertainer and act, and they wish that they could play play sports. I think they're so close because in order to be good at both, it takes a lot of work. That hard work may soon pay off for Strahan, who's reportedly being considered as a replacement for Regis Philbin on Live. I try to not think about it as replacing Regis. Nobody can ever do that. I'm enjoying it. I ride the wave. But I think the show fits my personality. To, I, I get along with Kelly Gray. So if they offered you the gig, you'd be like, <laughs> New York City. If they offered me the gig, I'd be in New York before the ink dries, <laughs> of course. And the gigs are piling up for other former ballers as well. <laughs> former quarterback Kurt Warner, who has his own reality show in the works, tells Showbiz Tonight the crossover to entertainment was inevitable. I think we've always if felt like going, that was kind of part of our role anyways, was the entertainment business. And so I think the natural thing. progression is to go, okay, I'm not on the football field in the, in the entertainment business anymore, but how can I continue to entertain? Although there's no TV deals for Tim Tebow just yet, he is popping up on red carpets here and there. Strahan says Hollywood won't be able to resist Tebow mania for long. Can he be the next big superstar? I think so. I mean, I don't count anything against the guy. I mean, he was walking the red carpet at the Met, at the yeah. Met Gala the other night, and I'm like... When you're popular, people want you, and he handles himself well. He had the belief, you understand it, he does not deviate. I think that's why he has a chance to, to transcend and, and be something totally different than what he is as an, as an athlete, because people trust somebody who they see who stand by what they say. Whether Tebow ever crosses the goal line into show business remains to be seen, but as more athletes do make that transition, Showbiz Tonight can report that Hollywood is ready to roll out the red carpet.